Libra, what it be, bruh? It is Scorpion Reds. I am back at it again. Just to let you know what is going on because you are some bad mamma jammas. You guys have been selected for the bonus reading because you are most indeed the most viewed. And like I told you, I have got some brand new cards that have come in because you guys are the most awesome signs with the most viewed. You guys are going to be the first to try out these new cards with me. So I got the Rebel Deck Couples Edition. Wild Offerings, Psychic Tarot, Oracle, Psychic Tarot of the Heart Oracle, the Oracle of the Mermaids, Oracles of the Unicorns, and then Alice in Wonderland. I got the Bonefire Tarot, Alice in Wonderland tarot deck as well so I'm not going to be using all of them but I know right now when I, I'm going to pull out what I feel the need to pull out but right, right now what we got working with on the table we have the uh, bonfire tarot the Alice of Wonderland Oracle of the Unicorns Oracle of the Mermaids and Oracle of Alice of Wonderland so we just going to you know, kind of play with it. I'm going to see how everything goes this time. And we're going to see. So, again, thank you guys so much for the love and support. You guys like sharing and subscribing. All of your love donations, all of the personal and private um, bookings have made it um, possible for me to be able to put the love back into the page where, you know, you guys are getting some new flavor, like a lifesaver. You know what I'm saying? Put a little different flavor in your ear, my dear. So, Libra, shout out to you one more time. Again, again, thank you so much for all the love and support and you guys being the most viewed. Thank you, thank you so much for all that love. All right, so let's get into your reading. Father God, thank you so much for us being here today. Thank you so much for us being covered in support and love and prosperity. Um... As you can see, it's like a community, the Libras. You know how they all come together down in the comment section. I love how you guys love on each other and give each other love, life, and insight. And uplift and pull each other up. I love how y'all love on each other and how y'all support. And just, you know, are just moving, which is fire. You know, you guys are not taking no bull crap this year. Y'all are not taking it. It's not being allowed. It is just not being allowed. Anybody that slept on Libra and thought that y'all would push over and y'all were just sweet out here, y'all about to show you that, yeah, I'm sweet out here, but I'm a Sour Patch Kid too. Yeah, I'm sweet. Yeah, you love me. You going to love me real good, but I would tax that ass too. Sorry for cussing. But, <laughs> Father, you know how it is because I just, I feel this fire. I feel this vigor in me. I like, I really, really do like Libra is just no joke right now, and they're just determined to win. They are not taking no for an answer, Father God. Thank you so much for, you know, just delivering us to this stage in our life where we're just, you know, like a rose, just like blooming, just slowly opening up, opening up, and just, you know, really getting to our just full grace and our full, our full beauty, you know. So thank you so much for us just being that rose, you know, and just like growing through that concrete and just growing, 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 growing. Father God, please give the sign of Libra guidance for the rest of the month of March. This is a bonus reading, so please give us any additional information that we missed throughout the, you know, original video through March. Um... And just a peek into the mid-month. So give us some bonus guidance for the sign of Libra. Thank you so much for all of the blessings and the messages that you've been giving us in the past, present, and future. Thank you so much, Father God. So this is, I believe, the Oracle of the Unicorns. I was looking at this. I just think that this deck just is just beautiful. Just, oh my gracious. I'm trying to think, where did I first see this deck at? Um, I think I first seen this deck with Olivia Love. Olivia Love. If y'all don't um, follow her, she's another amazing, amazing reader on YouTube. Y'all check her out. Healer and Hope. Alright, so what I'm getting right now is that Libra, right now you are in search of a healer. Because you are in... Um, you just have hope about the future. And, then, and, and and I feel like right now also that you might be 
throughout this process of y'all growing and going through this stage and, and developing and y'all are at a brand new slate i feel like you guys are possibly just being that special unicorn just being one of god's special unicorns and just being a healer and you're taking everything that you've learned and you are moving it forward and you're paying it forward and you are implementing it you know, and you are helping other people that were where you were last year that was suffering, that was in pain, that was in stagnation, that was sad, that was feeling lonely even though they had someone laying next to them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just all of that. Like you understand. You truly understand it because, like I said, um, and I believe I said this in the Divine Feminine Daily Bread for my beautiful ladies in the Divine Feminine. I asked y'all at the beginning, at the end of the um reading, like, are you one of God's special butterflies? Are you one of his special creatures that he put through this journey specifically for you to grow and to blossom and to be a healer and to take all of the lessons that you've learned and pay it forward and teach and heal someone else? It says you have a powerful healing gift. Have faith in your abilities. Stay true to your path as a healer so a lot of you guys you have gone through this journey because you are developing and you are spreading your wings and you are indeed becoming what is truly your path and your destiny and that is to be a healer it says hope stay positive the worst is behind you look up to the light <laughs> the worst is behind you libra you hear me baby the worst is behind you. Continue to move steadfast and have hope, baby. You hear me? Libra. I love how this reading is starting off. Healer and hope. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, honey. Yes, indeed. I love that energy. That's some beautiful energy right there. And this is the good tarot um, deck. This is one of my... First decks that I got. That's one of my training decks that you will see writing on this. I haven't used this deck in so long. That's why I was like, let me pull this baby out. Possibly going to use my Starman deck for the mid months. Pull out some of my older decks and mix them up with the new ones. Spirit, please give me some additional guidance for Libra, clarifying the healer and hope. Um, the seven of air. All right. Mm -hmm. I feel like with that seven of air, tell you I'm telling you what I what I'm getting oh I don't like this this is what I'm telling you with this seven in air you know this is the seven of swords so this is a sneaky individual this is someone who is kind of conniving very um Savvy with their, you know, con artistry, mental manipulating, trickster type of games. They're con artists. You know, they, they're, they're always trying to pull something over, always trying to get over on somebody here. But what I'm getting here is this time around, like Libra, you see these dubs up over here? These are two signs of peace. And it's like, yeah, you see these geese or whatever they are, but you have peace above your head right now, Libra. That is, those doves are a sign of hope and peace. And right now, the only thing that you are really allowing your mind to be clouded with right now is just thoughts of peace. And you know that this person from your past, I, this is someone from your past because this is the eight of water. Is it someone that you walked away from and I believe that this person is trying to find its way home back to you 
this person is trying to venture its, its way home. And I feel like this time around, you've healed yourself. And you have a lot of hope into the future. And you know you don't want to work on this situation with this person anymore. Because you're better off on your own with that nine of earth. Yes, indeed. Yeah. You know you're better off by yourself. So this time around, Libra, I feel like you're going to be a little bit smarter. You're going to be a smarter, a little quicker than the average bear. You understand? Because this time you have peace surrounding your mind and your just your thoughts right now. And I don't feel like you're going to let anyone come back from the past and disrupt your peace. I feel like this time around, you're going to find another way you're going to figure out like another plan another way to strategize to like you know finesse your way from around from this person from being around you because i can't see you allowing this person to come you're not letting this person try to sneak back in and weasel its way into your mind and into you you know what i'm saying you're not you're not allowing this person to come back emotionally or mentally because you already know about this person and you already know their game and what they're trying to get away with. You already know it. And you know this person's been wanting to try to come and get back in. They need to get back home because they need a home. <laughs> they need something. You know what I'm saying? And it's like you don't want to you don't want to be involved with this person. This is the three of coins. Okay, this is the three of earth. Okay, you don't want to be involved with this person. You don't want to put in the work that it will have to take to try to get things together to fix it. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't want to fix it. You don't want anybody else involved in your relationship. And you know, going back to this person, other people would be involved in your relationship. So you don't want to fix it. <laughs> you are better on your own. You just so like good on that. Like you're so and you're almost like, look, <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't care if, you know, I really don't care how you taking it. Because at the end of the day, it's about the proof is in the pudding. It's, it, it, it's about, I don't want to make it always seem like about money and stuff like that. But I always want to see, I, when I see this card, I always want to say if it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. If I see this. This nine of earth card in the upright or in the reverse, like regardless, if it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. You know what I'm saying? This person really cares about their quality of life. You know, they care about their quality of life. They put hard work in and they get in good. They get good results from the universe because they work hard. And I feel like this Libra, they have worked very, very hard ever since they've kind of healed themselves from this. And they have a lot of hope and they have a lot of aspirations for their dreams. And they know that they are good. They know that they are good where they're at. So they're like, no, you know what I'm saying? I already know you about to try to come over here and try. I know you try to sneak back. I already know. You know what I'm saying? I already know your game. And I'm good on that. Mm-mm. I don't see I don't see Libra allowing any of that. Any of that whatsoever. Let me pull out one of these babies. So this is the um what is this? The Rebel Couples Edition. So for the couples, let's see what these bad boys got to say. These cards are a trip, y'all. Oh my goodness. I've had a few people say they don't like these cards. <laughs> Let's see what these say. Spirit, please give me guidance in regards to the situation with this person coming back. Give me some hard, honest truth. Give me some guidance. It isn't personal. What do you mean it isn't personal? Shit's not always about you. What you mean? <laughs> what the fuck you mean by that, bitch? <laughs> you mean? What? Excuse him, ma. Excuse him, we. Excuse him, she. Let's 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 get you some correction. What you mean? It isn't personal. 
shit isn't always about you. And you know what? I feel like what you know, and you know what I'm taking this about. I feel like this person's gonna come back around. And for real, for real, they trying to, like I said, they trying to play mind games and they trying to manipulate you and they trying to trick you and they trying to swindle you and they trying to, you know. They trying to come and win by any means necessary, like legitimately, they are willing to, you know, they feel like they left something behind. They feel like they left somebody behind. They left something behind. And it's like, I'm going to come back and be sweet and all of this shit like that. And and, and I feel like, you know, Libra's going to be on guard like, man, what? What? You coming back here to see what? There's nothing left here emotionally. So what are you even coming back here to talk to me for? And I feel like the person is going to be like, stop taking this so personal. Shit ain't about you. Shit ain't about you. Like, try pull that shit like around on you. Like, you being, you, like you being sensitive or, you know, like, I'm just trying to be nice or something like that. You all getting all in your feelings and all this shit like that. Stop trying to take shit all personal and stuff. I'm just trying to say what's up. I ain't seen you in a long time. Dang. Like, that's what I feel like. That that means. What you mean it isn't personal? These are the bonfire cards, y'all. Please clarify it isn't personal. Please clarify it isn't personal. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The Ace of Coins. Strength. Hmm. Huh. Alright, so what I'm just... What I'm getting here... Uh, is it's like this person it, it, hmm. I guess for whatever for whatever it could be possible that maybe this person is just trying to come back and just trying to possibly be friends what is this the two of wands and what the ace of cups in reverse yeah okay so listen this is what I'm getting. Okay. So we already know that this person is a trickster. Trying to come back from the past. And this is somebody that clearly there was some type of third party energy going on in the past. And that's why y'all don't want to work with this person. Y'all do not want to work this shit out with this person no more. Because you feel like you're better left on your own. This person is going to come back. Gonna come back, trying to get over, trying to run game. We already know what type of game this person is on. We already know what type of person this is. So they're gonna try to play that sympathy thing like, ah, it isn't personal. Stop trying to take it personal. Shit ain't always about you. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to come and say what's up, see how you doing and shit like that. We was friends and all this stuff like that. And it's like, why you can't just have strength and just try to have this new beginning? You know what I'm saying? You know, why we can't just have this new beginning as friends? Why we can't just be friends? And <laughs> I honestly feel like Libra is be it's like because I don't love you. <laughs> the Ace of Cups in reverse. I don't love you. I don't want you around me anymore. You know what I'm saying? How can you start a new beginning that's based on false love? You know, you really, truly don't care about me. Okay? So don't try to ask me to, to like, <laughs> overlook certain things. You know what I'm saying? Like, only I have the authority. That's the number eight. Only I have the authority to tell myself what to overlook. You know what I'm saying? And start a new beginning. Don't tell me that don't take it personal. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to, I don't want to be, I don't want no new start with you. I don't want no new start with you trying to be friends. Because at the end of the day, I've already come to a decision about the fact that I really don't want you in my life. And my passion doesn't lie there, you know, to communicate with you in that way. Or to communicate with you, period, anymore. So, it's no point of me allowing you back in my life to cause more confusion, you know, when I'm better by myself. I honestly feel like Libra has healed from this situation. Libra has healed from that situation. All right, let's go into another oracle right here. Yeah. This is the Alice in Wonderland. Let's see what she got to say. 
Give us additional guidance in regards to just March. How Libra is currently feeling right now in their current state of being. How is Libra feeling in their current state of being? In this crazy world that we live in, how is Libra feeling? Who are Who in the world are you? Getting to know the new you. Getting to know the new you. So this is what Libra is going through right now. They are getting to know who they are at this new state. Because it's just like, I don't feel that Libra wants anything to do with anything or anybody from their past that represented any type of heartbreak, any type of drama, any type of heart mishaps, you know. Excuse me, you guys. Alright, so let's see exactly what this is. So it says, all right, so this says, who in the world are you? Who in the world am I? Ah, that's a great puzzle. When you receive this card, you are being asked to rediscover yourself through the asking of the all important question, who am I? As Alice asked so wisely, she says, that's a great puzzle. So many people go through life being who they think they are. Who others say they are or who they think they ought to be. When they truly are being submerged beneath conformity, habit, stereotype, cultural expectations, and others' opinions. This card is asking you to ask this question and to assume just for a moment that you may not know who you are. This is your invitation to go beneath the roles of that. In those assumptions, allow your true self to solely ascend and emerge from beneath the saltifying feedback of the world and be you once again. When this card comes to you, it is a wonderful opportunity to live in the form of your heart and your true self once more. To question all you think to be true and who you are and find out who you truly are right now. You may wish to meditate on this question or find out who you are in a new place with new people. You may like to start over to incarnate in a way. You may wish to travel, undergo some therapy, journal, or have heartfelt conversations about how we have become who we are. Hold on. Have conversations about how we become who we are at any given moment. Yeah, I did read that right. Treat this like a wonderful adventure and an opportunity to forget who you think you know you are. Rather than going along with beliefs, aim truly to see yourself. Puzzle out. Once again, and rebirth yourself anew. A fascination with getting to know yourself again. Growing into a new self. Defying assumptions of who you are. Exploring the self. Questioning who you have been told that you are. Changing at a very deep level. The readiness to evolve and experiment. To come to a greater self of knowledge. Alright? So that was most indeed. You... Asking who in the world are you? And I really do feel like that is the reason why you guys don't. Y'all don't resonate with this. Like, and, even, and I feel like this guy, whoever this guy or this girl is. And this can very much so be a manipulative female energy too. Because clearly it's an Aquarius female on the card. Okay? So some of you Libra men might be dealing with an Aquarius female. You know? Another air sign. So, let's see here. Let's get into, let's dig deep. Let's see what guidance we have about getting to know who we are in this new world. And, you know, I see right now in this card, it's like, you know, in Alice in Wonderland, it's like she's constantly growing bigger, taller, smaller, and all this like weird stuff or whatever. And it depends on 
what treat she bites or uh, you know how big she bites it if she gets like small as an ant or, or, or tall as a giant and stuff like that and I feel like right now with this card is kind of telling you without telling you like you have that little snack in your hand so it's like you can decide like who you truly want to be do you want to be as tall as a giant do you want to be as small as an ant do you want to stay where you're at like you get to truly pick and decide how much of that pastry food fruit or whatever the heck that is how much you bite it and where you want to go and what you want to be and you know it's like <laughs> What is this? What is all of this? She got some weird stuff up under her feet, child. No, look. You know, Alice in Wonderland is just weird as shit. So we ain't even about to do all that. We is not even about to dig deep into all that. But I just really feel like you're at this stage where it's like truly you can take a bite of that pie or that fruit or whatever the hell that is and, or that mushroom whatever and you can grow and be whatever size or literally make a shape shift yourself into whatever it is that you want to be it's like don't try to and I don't think that you do want to be that person no more that's why you don't resonate with this asshole anymore what is that the three of pentacles they're going to three of pentacles again you is not I don't feel like this journey is something that you are taking by your, by yourself. You don't want anybody's opinion. You don't want nobody's help. You don't want nobody's nobody. You just want to be the fuck by yourself. Like, I feel like you, you're saying I don't need counseling. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't need nobody to sit down and talk to me. You feel like I don't need nobody to sit down and talk to me and like, you know, give me advice and try to help me figure out where I need to place my pinnacles and who I am in this world. What is this? The Knight of Pinnacles. The Knight of Pinnacles. I feel like. And they go to Seven of Swords again. Seven of Swords. This person wants to be working. Oh, my Jesus. Lord, help me. Why does this person keep coming back? Why? This person is trying so fucking hard. It's trying so fucking hard. What the fuck is up with cuz, yeah? This is getting ridiculous. Like, how many decks are we are we about to say this here? Okay, so again, you are trying to figure out who you are in this world. Okay, and, and bite and bite a big ass piece of that, whatever that is, so you're gonna grow big as shit. So whoever the fuck this asshole is, you can just step on him and just get him the fuck up out of the way. Because you're trying to let this motherfucker know, I don't wanna work on anything with you. Like I don't wanna involve myself with you because every time I'm dealing with you, it's a whole bunch of fucking mess. It's always a whole bunch of other people involved. There's another person in the mix, okay? There is. It's either somebody else lurking around in the background or it's somebody that he, this person, he or she wants you to get counseling or something. You don't want to do that. You just don't want to, you just don't want to be involved. It's not, it's not going to add up to nothing that is beneficial to you. Because now I'm getting irritated. This person, this is the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. This person really is not bringing forth anything to the table that is long standing and that is really worth you waiting that long for it's like this person ain't really coming to offer you nothing they saying they offering you something like this person calling you from japan like oh yeah i'm coming but i'm on a horse i'll be there hold me down pop like nah get the fuck out of here send me some cash app fuck out of here face ass no 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 no, this person just wants to come back and get away with the same bullshit that they've been getting away with. I told y'all that's that seven of swords. I told you this person is going to come back and they're going to try to be all sweet and shit like that because they know that you are in this good place. They see your growth. They see your healing. They see that you have hope and you're you're like steadfast in the future. Not only that, but Everything that you've been doing has been paying off for you. And this person wants a piece of that so bad. That they're willing to do any fucking thing to get back in your fucking graces. And it's, it's, it's ridiculous. 
This is faith. This is hope. This is happiness. This is you being rejoiced. Do you see? And this person is just... You see all these little goddamn um, geese and shit? You ever been around geese? Like you in a park and shit, you all nice, and you having a good ass time out there with your Popeye's chicken trying fucking chilling shit, and here go these little ghetto ass geese coming over there like making all this noise coming over there with their crew trying to steal your chicken and shit and you gotta hurry up and get up and shit cause you don't know if these motherfuckers about to bite you and shit yeah this motherfucker coming with the shits he coming with the shits he see you was at peace right here right he seen you was at peace right here he like uh you know please just have strength let's just you know just I, I want to start something new I'm coming I'm offering you something solid this time I, I promise you you know what I'm saying I promise you. I know you don't love me no more. I know you don't love me no more. But just think about it. Think about it before you really go. Just think about it. You know what I'm saying? Just think about it. Just think. You know? Don't take it so personal. Stop Stop looking at it like, you know, I'm going to do the same shit, you know, that I'm going to do to you last time. You know, this, this shit ain't all about you. You know what I'm saying? It ain't all about you all the time. Don't take this shit personal, man. I'm just trying to come at you on some real ass shit. I'm just trying to be a part of your life because we done been with each other for so long. You know, stop taking that shit so personal like somebody trying to hurt you. Ain't nobody trying to hurt you. You like, look, I don't want nothing to do with you. <laughs> like, I don't even know if we even said anything more than that. I don't want nothing to do with you. Because you don't have to explain to them that you, you're not the same person. You don't even want to, like, what? I don't want nothing to do with you. You see how you, you you looking at them nigga like what? I I don't want nothing to do with you. Look, I'm willing to take counseling. I'm willing to do whatever. I'm willing to do whatever. Man, I'm trying to tell you. I'm really trying to offer you something this time. I'm really this going to be it this time. Lies. Propaganda. Bullshit. Tomfoolery. It's going to take so long for you to see anything of what this person yapping about. That it's like that this person never really give you anything at all. And like I said, this person, whereas though the person in the beginning, they were being sweet about it. Trying to pussyfoot him and pussy willow around your brain with it. You know what I'm saying? Trying to yeah, finesse you a little bit. This time they ain't trying to finesse you. Like they really trying to come in for the juggler. But this time this motherfucker going to get caught. This time this motherfucker going to get caught. Because at the end of the day, you know that the only reason why this person is sending you all this rapid communication like this is because this person wants acknowledgement. This person wants like to be victorious in this situation. This person likes your attention. This person likes a, a dislike. This person is like an attention whore almost. And this person is not going to stop communicating with you until they are victorious and you give them the acknowledgement that they want. Like, this person is a fucking jackass of all trades. Like, this person, I don't know who this idiot is, but this person is just not going to stop. This person is just, like, not letting up, bruh. Oh, God. Like, what the fuck is up with cuz? <sighs> Please give me some additional guidance. This is the um, uh, Mermaid's Oracle. Ooh, please give Libra some emotional guidance. Because I feel, you know, water, that's emotions. Please give Libra some guidance. Because you know what? At the end of the day... It don't matter what this person is trying to do. Like, Libra is not taking the shit. Libra is not for the shits. Like, they is just, they're not here for it. Not. They're not letting up. They're like, no. Reflections. Yearning. What you contemplate can actualize. All right, so what I'm getting here, Libra. Libra, their whole thing right now, like I told you, Libra's mind right now is legitimately on. It's not even about looking at their past at all. They're looking at their self. Like Libra has grown and blossomed so freaking much. They are looking at their self in the mirror. I feel Libra is legitimately emotionally balanced in everything. And I want to say shout the fuck out to y'all Libra. Because this person tried and tried and tried. And you still like. 
get the fuck away from me cuz like I don't want nothing to do with you like I don't want nothing to do with you Libra is looking in the mirror and looking at their self and they love what they see and they love their reflection right now and Libra is blossoming and glo listen you guys are healing you guys are a healer and you guys have so much hope that y'all not doing nothing but looking at yourself in the fucking mirror and saying, I don't even see this bullshit right here because that ain't even who the fuck I am anymore. That's what this is saying. Like, That's not even who the fuck I am no more. That is not who I am no more. <laughs> y'all have like evolved so much past this shit. Y'all have evolved so much past this shit. And that's why this person's like, don't, don't take it personal. It's all, it ain't all about you. Like, this person tries to use my manipulation and trickery and tries to do reverse psychology on you to try to, like, don't fall for that shit, Libra. Do you hear me? You are yearning for some, listen, longing for someone undesired. Oh, hold on. Longing for someone. Undesired separation. Ooh. Let me pull out the bosom. Let me pull out the bosom on this one, honey. Because I want to see what they got to say about this. Here, here, here. Mm -mm, hold on, honey. It says, longer for someone. Undesired separation. Pingy. Ooh. What they talking about that here? What that here, what that here, honey? Mm-mm. What we talking about here? Yearning. Honey. This says, say, this says so often we have yearned for so many people, places, and things and experience that are not to be ours. To be a mermaid is to dive in and to immerse, to swim deeply and to not understand what it is to be so indifferent to life. So yes, as with the little mermaid of your stories, there have been Foolish things done, exchanges made, and pain endured, and we have fallen in love with a life or a place that we cannot truly experience in our current form. To be a mermaid is to feel without judgment and logic you so often apply. We are of water born, born and in water, in psyche, in the emotion, and in love with the feeling of every aspect of our potential. And sometimes that has brought us pain. And sometimes we know this pinging and longing can kill us. And you too. Which is why we come to you now. We know you too are feeling this pain. This yearning that is kind of a stretching of the soul. Till it feels like it might break free from you and go and search for what you desire. Whoa now hold on. But we are here to t also tell you that that feeling you are experiencing shall pass. That you can expect a breakthrough where your capacity to feel and to love and to heal and to adore is growing stronger and stronger. And as you feel this, it is possible you may wonder about the connection to reality, which you can call sanity. Yearning is deep and is painful. Is what takes place when two souls who have deeply merge their energy and their fates and their destinies are separate and do not know when they will be together again it is natural creatures of the sea and of the forest do this and so do you this pain will pass and if it is destiny that your yearning will bring you close again it will do so we know the feeling we comfort you know its beauty or know it not at all. If that wasn't some deep ass shit. Honey I knew I needed to pull that book out. So listen. I definitely feel like. Because you got to understand. This person came at you once. Got rejected. Came at you twice. Tried to insult you. Into accepting them. And still got rejected. And I feel like after that. You are left in a place where you're like self reflecting. Looking at yourself. Knowing that you like what you see. And just that you do yearn for this person. You did love this person. And it took you a lot to move from this person. So understand the feelings that you're feeling is natural. But you have to. 
you have to still, you know, be strong. You have to still be strong, you guys. And just like, hmm. Let's get some deeper insight into this. Reflections and yearning. Please clarify reflections and yearning. The King of Cups. Yeah, it might have been for a water sign. Y'all might have been dealing with a water sign male. Cancer Pisces. Uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Oh, King of Coins. But these are two different men here. What's going on, you guys? Hmm. The Queen of Coins. What? What is going on with all of these people, you guys? What the fuck is going on? Libra, do you got all of these choices of men here? Uh-uh, hold on. I need to find out what's going on with this. So listen, y'all. Listen, y'all. We got the King of Cups. I honestly feel like this person that you're doing you're doing these reflections about. I definitely feel like this is a king of cups because hmm. <laughs> this is what I'm getting. I feel like listen, the person that you were dealing with. I feel like the person that you were dealing with might have possibly been a king of cups. Okay? And right now, currently in your other right, the person that you were dealing with in the past was the king of cups or was the king of or was the knight of swords. I honestly feel like this knight of swords might be the person from your past as well. But I feel like this person right here is someone from your past as well. This person is new. This king of this king of coins is new. This king of coins right here is new. This this Taurus Virgo Capricorn. This person is new right here. This person and this person is from your past. This might be, I don't know, like your kid's father or something like that. And maybe your kid's father might be coming back around after all of these years. And maybe he's been trying to like flirt with you or something like that. And but this person is like someone that you never really know how to read their emotions, kind of. And I feel like. This person is very attractive and very handsome, but it's something about this person. I don't feel like y'all necessarily really like about this King of Cups because I feel like you never really know where your emotions lies with this person. This one, I feel like is the asshole. This one up here. Okay. This Knight of Swords. I feel like this motherfucker is the one that's talking all this shit. It is a personal. And this is you right now, the Queen of Coins in reverse. I feel like... The reason why it's the Queen of Coins in reverse is because financially, we know right now that you are doing, things are turning in the up for you. Things are going in your favor. But in regards to you, how you look at yourself as a queen, I don't feel like you're at the place that you want to be financially. So don't take this Queen of Coins in reverse as a negative thing, Libra, because you know your taste, you know your desire, you know where the fuck you want to be in your life and your stature and how you want your household and where you want to be on a financial level. And you just are working your way up there. You're at that nine of coins. You need the ten of coins in order for you to feel like that you like this. So it's no tea, no shade. You see what I'm saying? This is just letting you know where your mind is at right here. And I feel like you have a lot of options right now in regards to 
men in your life. Like y'all have three different options here. Y'all have three different options here. I feel like this is your baby daddy. Or this is maybe just someone from the past. This is somebody from the past that I feel like you might have known this person for a long time. A, a long time and y'all might have fell out. And I feel like this person has grown up a lot. I feel like maybe in the back in the day, this person was like maybe a playboy or something like that. And I feel like maybe you, you still look at this person like that. Like you don't really, you don't really see this person as any different. And even still, as you talk to them now, it's like you still can't really gauge on. This person is so tight gripped on their emotions. Like you really just don't know. But at the same time, you got this king of coins that just get, that came into your life. Like this person is very successful. This person is humble. This person is nurturing. Um, This person is really coming to something with the table. I think this person is like, I. this person is like, I feel comedy, comedy. Like this person makes you laugh. Like this person makes you laugh as like a comedian or something like that. And I feel like you... Oh, I feel like y'all be smoking. Y'all be. Because <laughs> I don't know. Like the feeling I'm getting from him. Like I feel like he be smoking. He be chilling. He like to eat good. He like to have. Nah, he like to drink nice wine. He like he like the finer things in life. Like I can see y'all. Like this is the type of cat daddy. That like to chill back. With a little. Uh, 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 suede. What is it? Um, Velvet. Little velvet jacket, little smoker's jacket and shit in the in, in the uh, cigar bar and stuff like. He a real, he a real hood fancy ass nigga <laughs> like, and you really like him because he funny. Cause I'm laughing, you know what I'm saying? Like I feel like when I'm talking about him. And right now, you trying to get your money up, and he already got his money up. So you feel like you like him. You like him, Libra. You like him, and it's like, all right, so. You got to deal with this, this ex or this baby daddy, this king of, this king, this king of cups has been communicating with you too. And now here come this asshole who just, who just won't just let up. And this bitch upset because you won't let up because he don't try it once, got rejected, try it twice, got rejected. And now he back down here. Now he, 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 he down here. So at this point, he feel the competition. So I feel like his whole deal with you is to break you down. You know, in order to build himself up. That's his deal. And I, 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 don't, I don't even understand what his whole purpose is. Like, I truly don't understand what his purpose is. And let me, um, let me give you one of these. This is this? Okay. Let me give you one of these. But this is the Wild Offer Oracle. Let's give you one of these beautiful cards. If you want to get up out of here, I'm lying. I'm probably going to do something more. Because I am not. My heart isn't satisfied. Please give me guidance for Libra for March. Contentment. You can learn to rest in what you already have and already are. Suddenly you remember, I am right here, resting in God. Okay. Again, you can learn to rest in what you already have and already are. Suddenly you remember, I am right here, resting in God. So, what I'm getting is, have peace in the change. Have peace and just be content. In a state of where you're at, don't be in a rush to, to, don't be in a rush for this transition and for, and I'm here for everything that makes sense to you. Don't, don't be in a rush for all of this shit to make sense to you. Cause I feel like there's a lot coming at you because like I said, even up here, there's a lot of communication coming at you. There's a lot of passionate communication coming at you. Um, especially from this asshole, because he just won't let up. But in general, we see it down here as well. And I see that there is a lot of reflection because there are a lot of people that's coming back from the past that are making you think back to a lot of stuff. And you really, like I said, you like the person that you are right now. Like, you see how you're hugging her? You see how... 
She's embracing her. You really like who you are and you like who you becoming. Don't be in a rush to make everything make sense for you to just just don't be in a rush. Just know that God is with you and God has said I'm resting. I'm resting right here with you and, and that you're resting in God. You know, understand that this yearning and everything that you're going through. Because these people are coming at you like crazy, Libra. These people coming at you like crazy, babe. You hear me? All these men, three different men. But your heart, honey, your heart is with that king. With that king of coins, because he make you laugh. He truly makes you laugh. And I feel like this is the one that... Ooh, that is the one. That is the one that you really like. Spirit, give me some last minute guidance in regards to these three men. Like I said, and you kept getting like the three of coins. Was it, was it that you kept getting the three of coins? Why are you thinking you kept getting like the three of pentacles and you kept getting the seven of swords? And maybe that's why you kept saying, I don't want, I don't, I feel like you just don't want to make a decision. You don't want to work on anything with nobody seriously right now. Cause you just got too much coming at you. And you just, I honestly feel like you, like you don't even know what to make of it. Was it the two of wands? Yeah. Mm hmm. I feel like you've narrowed it down. The five of, ooh, no. The Five of Pentacles. Ooh. All right. Libra's cutting somebody. He, they're cutting somebody out. Mm-hmm. This ain't nobody cutting, um, shelling Libra out. Libra's cutting them out. Leaving somebody ass right out in the cold where they was. The emperor. I think that emperor's been in y'all reading before. That emperor in reverse. The moon. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. So, in regards to this situation up here, that old person, because I know that emperor in reverse has been in, re in, in Libra's readings before. It, is ha it has been, it has been, it has been. I know I'm not tripping. So, Libra is looking. You got a lot of decisions. You got a lot to choose from right now. And you're trying to figure out, should you stay or should you go? Where should you, where, you know, where should you put your stake in and call it home? So you're surveying the land. And you decided, you know what? There's somebody that, um, there's somebody that, you know, I tried to work on things with and they didn't. There's things that, you know, I asked for help for and they didn't help me. There's been a lot of things that I put a lot of work and a lot of value into and they didn't. And they're out in the cold at this point. And I think, you know, from what I'm seeing, from what I'm seeing, based on my options out here, I got two solid, you know, I got two solid things, you know, that I could possibly make a selection from. One is one that I already know is a dud. That I'm definitely going to leave behind. But the other one. Yeah. I think that that's. I think that's the one. Daniel son. That's the one. Okay. You my friend. I left you in the cold. Your ass going to stay the fucking. <laughs> you going to stay in the cold. Bailiff. Take him away. Okay. Bailiff. Take him away. So that leaves you with your two options. That leaves you with your two options. And you said, you know what? Hmm. This 
communication that I've been getting. All of this, oh, just listen to me. I just want to be friends. I just want to start over. All this stuff. All of this, you know, communication that you've been getting from this emperor in reverse, this person in your past. Bailiff, take them away. Why are they knocking at my door? Why is this person sending me love messages? You don't know how to be a good man. You don't know how to be a father. You don't know how to be a provider. You don't know how to be shit. You don't, I don't feel protected by you. I don't feel anything by you. I don't know why you're communicating with me. Especially about anything that has anything to do with love. Bailiff, take him away. Get this motherfucker away from my door. Why is this person knocking at my door? <laughs> okay? All right? For a matter of fact, unwire the damn buzzer. Motherfucker, stop ringing my goddamn bell. Stop sending me messages, too. Call the U.S. Postal Services and tell them um, that's the stalker. Stop sending me messages. Whoever this water sign is, this water sign, stop sending me messages, okay? You ain't the man that I wanted you to be. And if this is a, a Libra um, um, a, a man, you are you don't know how to be the correct type of woman that I need you to be so that I can stand up and be the protector, provider, the leader, the nurturer. You, I, I, I ain't got time for this shit. You got too much shit going on with you. My intuition is leading me and telling me you done called me about my goddamn slumber so that you could put me in that pot and cook me and eat me for dinner, bitch. I already done seen goddamn Alice in Wonderland. I know what the motherfuckers do with them goddamn clams and shit, bitch. You think I'm stupid? You think I'm stupid, don't you? Uh-huh. Because like I told you from the beginning, this person is trying to get away and be slick and trying to be sneaky. But Libra is like, uh-uh, bitch. I got my intuition going on. Uh, I see that moon going on behind me. Uh-uh. That means intuition. That means not to be stupid, bitch. Okay? Fuck out of here. You think I'm about to let you just stab me in my goddamn heart again? I told y'all that the, the three of pinnacle, three, 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 all those threes. There's another person involved in this situation. This person, with this, this person in your past, this emperor... That's been in the Libra readings. It's going to lead to heartbreak. Don't even entertain it. Don't entertain it. Do not entertain it. Do not entertain it. Do not. No, no, no. Last parting words. Spirit, please give Libra some last parting words for the month of March. These cards don't bend like my other cards. Please give me some guidance for Libra. Last parting words. Closing words for Libra. Thank you so much. Please give Libra some last. What is this? The page of swords, yeah. Uh, oh, oh, okay, that was a lot. That was a lot. Page of swords. Investigate, Hangman, the Knight of Coins, the Six of Cups. Okay. Pages. Okay, so this is it. All right. So this is what I feel like. You have to really take time to investigate um, Libra, the type of people that you're dealing with. Because at the end of the day, I don't want you to get hung up and kind of like in repetitive patterns with the type of people that you're attracting into your life. There is a knight of coins coming to you, okay? There is someone coming to you. That is offering you something solid and that's going to hold you down and it's going to be committed to you. It's just going to take some time for this person to get there because as God is working on you, God is working on them. Do you see what I'm saying? And God is testing you along your journey. And that's why they're bringing up these assholes from the past and stuff like that to see what you want to do. To see if you learned anything. So that's why and that's why I feel like 
you want something to happen right now and that's why this contentment card is coming out and that's why god is telling you to just be content it says you can learn to rest in what you already have and already are suddenly i remember i am right here resting in god and what that means what this means again you know be content in everything that you have and everything that you already are be okay and get used to just the growth that you've made thus far master being at the point that you're at before you go to the next level when you get to the next level this is the next level by that time this person will be here but you have to continue to like this is the six of cups do you see you got to work on things from your past. Do you understand? And I also feel like there might be some Libras that I might have went through some childhood trauma. You know, there might be some things in your past uh, that might have happened to you. That's why you're attracting these type of assholes into your life. And I feel like you are growing. You are growing past a lot of these things. And y'all are growing strong. Um... Y'all are truly, truly, truly growing strong. And I'm proud of y'all because it don't matter how much this person has tried to come back. This, this person from your past. And that's why I'm trying to tell you, this person is coming. God is just testing you, putting you through these trials and tribulations, trying to see if you truly learn. And first be contented where you are. Just being this new person, even being able to block these people away because it's taking you a long time to even to just get to this point where you're saying no to these people. So don't try to move past this point already. You know what I'm saying? Deal with this stuff. Deal with these things that's coming back from the past. Learn how to stay in confidence and stand strong into rejecting these things. Because when this person get here, you think these motherfuckers from the past is not going to come back and try to be like, hey, remember me? And you can be like, bye. Remember me, bitch? You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? Because this person, this new person, this knight of wands, listen, this new, it's coming faster than what the fuck you think it is. You see what I'm saying? It seems like it's coming slow because you're like, all of these situations from the past keep coming, blocking you from this. And you like, I want something solid. I want something that's strong, something that's going to hold me down and everything like that. But whole time, as quick as you're blocking these things from the past, the quicker you're making this person rush towards you. You see what I'm saying? The more and more that you grow stronger, you get confident and you get content in your growth and your understanding the beauty of growing. understand just being patient as you are just learning to just be a little bit calmer as you are calmer and you are relaxing the faster the universe is coming you see what I'm saying because it's just like she's starting to relax now or he's starting to get it all right He's starting or she's starting to reject these things from the past and not let it even ruffle a feather reject and block and calm reject and block and calm god i'm still with you we still on this journey thank you for this journey i'm hell da, da, da. okay yeah she ready he ready bring it bring it faster bring it faster because th this person ain't even crying no more this person ain't, do you see what i'm saying the quicker that you are reject block calm thank you god reject block calm thank you god god is like come on come on faster Come on faster. All right. What is going on here? He got this motherfucker again. All right. So listen. Mm, 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 mm. <sighs> the quicker and quicker and quicker that this person and you get your shit together this person is coming quicker to you and at the same time I just want you to know that these elements you're, you're constantly you're constantly going to have to remember Libra as you're going through this journey that this stuff is going to come around 
okay it's not going to be easy god is going to continue to test you okay you're going as this person is coming to you like i said this person is coming to you faster than you know it faster than you know it but you gotta know god is going to continue to test you i'm feeling like i need to pick you up magic make a wish believe in miracles magic is all around you all right magic is all around you make a wish make a wish magic is all around you you are going to have these king of wands in reverse these false kings that are going to come to you they are going to come do not let this shit beat you this is test test so when your true 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 divine masculine comes your true true divine feminine comes you will know how to recognize her there will be constant tests of these false kings okay these false kings that have a whole lot of hidden shit going on around them that is why god is trying to tell you to be keen in using your intuition be keen in, in using your intuition not only that what I also want to tell you is do not constantly, because I feel like a lot of the Libras, they are constantly harboring on this. That's why it keeps popping up in your energy. Y'all are constantly thinking about these people from your past that have snuck around, that were cheating, that had a whole bunch of secrets and stuff. You always were anxious and, you know, um, just feeling insecure, just like, Filled with anxiety all of the time because these people, you know, were putting you in situations where you were always in the battle of your life. Like you, it, it, it was like you always feel like you were taking up arms. You were always feeling like as soon as you put your 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 guard down and you're ready to rest, you realize that you're having to pick your guard, your your, your thing up and, and go in battle once more. You know what I'm saying? Like it was like a never ending fight. And this person was constantly putting you in situations where they were stabbing you, stabbing you in your heart. And it was like a never ending story. And it took you a long, long time, a long process, a long journey of healing your heart from this. And I feel like because this person keeps coming back to you. This person keeps trying. I feel like this, this person from your past keep, 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 keep coming. And they keep coming. And not even just people, not even just this person. If that's not this person again and again and again. And this person told you from the beginning. They are not going to stop communicating with you. Okay, so maybe some of you guys, I feel like some of you guys might need to get a restraining order against this person. I really do. I feel like y'all need to get a restraining order against this motherfucker. Because this person just don't get it. Because every time I feel like we're going somewhere good in the reading and we're talking about, you know, we're talking about. I just, I just, God, this person is a fucking idiot. What is it saying? Strength. This is a this challenge will make you stronger. You will get through to the other side. Look for the gifts in this situation. God wants you to continue to have strength. That is why God keeps testing you. That is why this person keeps coming to fuck around. Strength. And that was the number eight. That was already. You know, this person was trying to tell you to be strong and try to work on things. And you told them from the beginning, only I have the authority. Do you see what I'm saying? Only I have the authority to tell myself to be strong about something. You don't come around here and tell me to be strong. I know how to manifest. I know how to give. You know, I know how to give to the universe what I want back from the universe. So I know how to be strong. I know what I need to do. I don't need you coming around. Just like poking the bear. I feel like this person is just like poking the bear. This person is just trying to come around and just trying to weasel and just snick and mentally con and manipulate and trying to get into your energy. They're trying to get in your head. They're trying to break you. And I want you to be strong. 
And I want y'all to get a restraining order. I seriously, I'm going to name this, I want y'all to get a fucking restraining order. I want y'all to get a restraining order. Forgiveness. Healing comes from acceptance. Help me, dear Lord, to fully accept what is... Oh, oh Lord Jesus, help me because my brain is frazzled. I'm sorry because this... Healing comes from acceptance. Help me, dear Lord, to fully accept what is, knowing that this alone opened me to the new. Okay. Healing comes from acceptance. Help me, dear Lord, to fully accept what is, knowing that this alone opens me to the new. Do you hear me? Right now, you need to heal. Have strength. Go through healing. It don't matter what this person tries to say. What this person tries to do. This person will be blocked. This person will be canceled. This person will be ignored. Okay? You will continue to have strength. And you will forgive this fucking idiot. Because they're an idiot. And if they want to go to jail, they can go to jail. Just straight up like that. Like... God is putting you through this because I feel like in the past you easily, easily let this person in. Like this person knew like they can just, they can wear you down. They can wear you down. So this is the true test. This is the true test. And I really do feel like y'all, it's not I feel like it. Y'all are not the same person anymore. Y'all are not that person anymore. Who in the world are you? Getting to know the new you. If this don't show that you are fucking strong, this shit right here, this person come again and 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 again. Eight times. I don't know if we did count eight times. Ooh, I'm shaking. I gotta go. Libra, I love y'all. I love y'all. I know that this has been a very long reading. I hope that y'all like these new cards. Um... Y'all let me know how y'all feel about the cards and stuff, man. Oh, this person. This, I don't know who the fuck this person is that y'all don't got yourself mixed up with. But this motherfucker is a piece of work. A piece of work. But I want you to know that God is applauding y'all. Not only God is applauding you. I'm applauding you because me, I'd have popped off on this motherfucker by now. Like, after that second time, me and this motherfucker would have, yeah, we'd have got to swinging, like, for real. Because I'm like, young, leave me the fuck alone. Like, I swear, like, I'm like the type. Now I'm rambling. I'm sorry, y'all. But I'm serious. Like, I'm the type of person, like, when I say leave me the fuck alone, I mean leave me the whole ass the fuck alone. Like, don't keep, like, coming around and, like... Stop, mo. Like for real. Like all this sneaky, and then you try, then you try and be smart out your mouth. Talking about shit ain't always about you. That motherfucker would have got popped square in his motherfucking mouth. Say what? Bam! Hit that nigga right in his motherfucking mouth, nigga. What? All I call my phones, but like, man, please get this nigga the fuck on out of here, please. Oh my god, cause now like this is really irritating me. Irritating, like whoever this dude is, whoever this girl is, irritating. Oh God, like this could be a female, this could be a dude, this could be anybody, this could be like a friend, this could be a family member. Look, if it resonates, it resonates. If it don't, leave it. Let me take what resonates. If this video helped y'all out at all, if y'all want to book a personal private reading, look, y'all, I only do video readings. I only do video readings. I only communicate with you guys through Instagram video um, or um google hangouts okay so if you guys do not like to do google readings i mean um um video readings um y'all probably might not wanna well you know what i i mean i do do recorded video readings and that's an add-on so if you want me to record a video for you and upload it to youtube so if you feel some type of insecurity about you me seeing you or something like that and you just rather me do a direct upload it's a ten dollar it's a ten dollar um add-on charge okay so book your reading and pay for the ten dollar add-on and just say i'm you know i'm paying for the, the um youtube upload the private youtube upload okay so if you would like to book a personal private reading um the information is in that tab um 
Scorpion Red Tarot as Simply Book Me. I'm sorry, y'all, like, my brain is spinning right now off this energy. Um, <laughs> just because y'all resonated. And you want to give a love donation, you can do so. The PayPal information is in the description. Love and light, y'all. It says... We can't be all the things. <laughs> Since we can't be all the things, your ass needs some help. Ask for it, hire it, make it happen. <laughs> Libra, is that what y'all gonna be telling these motherfuckers? Like, we can't be all these things. We can't be all the things. You understand what I'm saying? Like, we can't. Like, we just can't. Like, you need some help, okay? Your ass needs some help. Ask for it. Hire it. Make it happen. Okay? Make it happen. Like I said, y'all gonna listen. And I feel like, honestly, this person gonna come to you like, oh, we need to work on something. We need some counseling or something. You gonna be like, no, motherfucker. You need. Bitch, you need. You are not being heard. Okay? Say that shit louder. Libra, say that shit louder. Bitch, you need. Some moisturizer in Big Deborah's voice. <laughs> Honey, you need some moisturizer because you are not being heard. Don't nobody want to work on shit with you. You need to go get some counseling. You need some moisturizer. Bitch, you dry. Goodbye. I see you, Libra. Peace.